Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design lateral steel members according to the seismic provisions in the RAM frame steel post processor. For this particular model, we've already specified our seismic provisions design code, generated our load combinations with the overstrength factor, and assigned our lateral frame types. We are now at the point in our workflow where we're ready to perform a member code check. To start that process, go to the main menu, select process, followed by member code check. The member code check command will check the stress and capacity of each steel member in the model based on the currently selected design code. Once the member code check is complete, all of the lateral steel members in the model will be color coded to indicate their status. Now, as you can see, all of the lateral steel beams within our moment frames have failed the code check. Now, for more information regarding the seismic code checks that were performed and the limits for each check, we can go ahead and invoke the view update a member command. To start that process, go to the main menu, select process followed by member view update. Now you're going to notice that your cursor is going to change shape and you can go ahead and select any of your failing lateral steel members in your model. Within the view update dialog, we'll be able to see which code checks were performed and which are currently failing. If you wanted any information on any of these options, go ahead and double click it and you'll be able to see whether or not the provision failed. To view more information or the detailed calculations, let's go ahead and click on the View Results button, which will show us the Seismic Provisions Member Code Check Report. And for this particular member, we can see that the stability bracing of the beam is currently failing. Now that we've reviewed this information, let's go ahead and close out of this dialog. Now for this particular member, since we see that stability bracing of the beams is an issue, we have a couple of different options. If we wanted to provide any supplemental framing to brace these members, we could go ahead and detail our structure accordingly and assign some flange bracing or unbrace length parameters within the seismic provisions mode. Another option that we have available to us is to perhaps see if another sized member might work out. If you would like to investigate a different size of member, you can go ahead and review the sections database that's available within RAM Structural System and select alternate member sizes to see if they would get you to a passing design. For this particular model, I'm going to go ahead and try a few different sizes and see if it gets me there. So here I'm going to start with a W18 by 97. I'm going to review my yield strength of steel and then click the Analyze button. After doing that, I can see that now the stability bracing of the beam members is satisfied. If I wanted to view the results, I can go ahead and see what the unbrace length of the member is that I've selected, along with the maximum unbrace length that is allowed. Here you can see I'm now satisfying this criteria. And for my particular model, I'm going to go with this option. I'm going to update the size of all of my lateral steel moment frames. So let's go ahead and click on the update database. Now what that will do is it'll go ahead and change the size of this member officially, and then we'll go ahead and click close. Now what you're going to notice is that while within the steel post processing mode, if you make any changes to the stiffness matrix of your structure, and this could be including uh, changing the yield strength of any members in your model or the section properties, you're going to notice that your analysis is not current anymore. The reason for that is because the analysis is based on the original section properties that were assigned to this member and any changes invalidates that analysis. That being said, the way to complete your design is to go back, reanalyze, and then run through your steps again. Now before I do that, since I have other failing members, Let's go ahead and adjust the size to the rest of them, okay? So to assign an alternate size to any of the members in your model, 
you can go to the Assign menu option, and here you can see you can change the size of your columns, beams, or braces. So for this particular model, we're going to go ahead and assign a different size to all of the lateral steel beams. Here, I'm going to go to the Beams option and select Size. And I'm going to select the same size that I picked for the moment frame previously. Here, I'm going to select a size, and I have a few different assignment options. I'm going to go ahead and say assign this to all of my lateral steel beams in the model. Now that we've changed the stiffness matrix of our particular model, what we want to do is we want to start the process again with our lateral analysis and then reperform all of our code checks. What this will do is it'll let us know if the model is still good considering the new analysis with the new stiffness matrix and if those sizes are still satisfying the code checks. So let's go ahead and get started by navigating back to the analysis mode and we're going to reperform a lateral analysis with all of the currently selected load cases. Once the analysis is complete, we're going to navigate back to the steel post processor and we're going to perform a quick member code check in the standard provisions mode. Once the code check is complete, let's navigate to the seismic provisions mode and perform a member code check here. Now reviewing this information, we can see that the new sizes that we assigned to all of the lateral moment frame steel beams are now passing the code check. And this would conclude our process for designing our lateral steel members for the seismic provisions by performing a member code check. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.